Once upon a time, in the quaint village of Parner, nestled in the heart of Maharashtra, there lived a young boy named Senapati Bhopat. Born into a Marathi Chitpavan Brahmin family on a crisp November day in 1880, little did anyone know that this boy would grow up to be a pivotal figure in India's fight for independence. Senapati's journey began at Deccan College, where he embarked on a path to study engineering. But fate had different plans for him. With a government scholarship in hand, he set sail for distant shores all the way to Britain. However, his time in the land for the British was not what one might expect. Instead of focusing on his studies, Senapati found himself drawn to a different kind of education. In the bustling streets of London, Senapati became associated with India House, a hub for Indian nationalists. Here, he spent his days learning bomb-making skills alongside revolutionary figures like Vinayak and Ganesh Sarvarkar. His mind filled with dreams of rebellion. Senapati even toyed with the idea of blowing up the iconic houses of the parliament. But destiny had other plans for Senapati. A pivotal moment came when he roamed the length and breadth of India, only to realize that many of his fellow countrymen were unaware of their nation's subjugation under foreign rule. This revelation sparked a new flame within him, the desire to educate and awaken the masses. In 1912, Senapati's revolutionary activities caught up with him, leading to his arrest in connection with a bombing incident. Though imprisoned, his spirit remained unbroken. By 1915, he emerged from behind the bars as a seasoned revolutionary ready to continue his fight for freedom. Senapati's journey took a surprising turn in the late 1920s. Despite his past as a fiery advocate of violence, he found himself drawn to Mahatma Gandhi's vision of non-violent resistance. This marked a significant shift in his ideology, though he remained willing to use force when necessary. One of Senapati's most notable endeavors came in 1921, when he led a three-year farmers' protest against the construction of Murshi Dam by the Tata Company. This protest considered the first organized struggle against forced displacement show caste Senapati's unwavering commitment to the plight of the common people. Despite facing imprisonment for his activism, Senapati's legacy endured. Major roads in Pune and Mumbai now bear his name. For example, the Senapati Bapat Road in Pune, honoring his contributions to India's independence struggle. In 1977, The government of India even issued a postage stamp in his honor. On a momentous day in 1947, Senapati stood tall as he hoisted the Indian national flag over the city of Pune, making the dawn of a new era for his beloved country. And as the years passed, his memory lived on, immortalized in monuments and stories that celebrated his indomitable spirit. In 1980, on the centenary of his birth, a memorial was erected at the site of the Murshi Satyagraha, a testament to Senapati's enduring legacy and his unwavering dedication to the cause of freedom. Well, this is the story of Senapati Bapat, and let me know in the comment section whether you like it or not. Thank you so much.